Hi. Um, I'm on vacation, and my friend Ellie um wanted me to answer honestly um some questions for her new documentary about inside anxiety so um before i answer the questions or get started um i just want to say um this might be different for a lot of uh, people and a lot of you guys watching it but this is my um, experience with anxiety and panic attacks so hopefully you guys enjoy and get a little, get a little more insight into what um, it's all about. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I uh, will see you in about two seconds. So, okay. I'm gonna get the question for Ken. If she's up because she's in England, so she's gonna um hi guys. Um so I'm back and I'm with uh my uh Two, two nephews that are dogs and they're the sweetest dogs ever um, and I'm in South Carolina right now I was in uh, I was out at the Jersey Shore a couple of days ago um, and uh, my friend Ellie wanted to make a video um about anxiety and panic attacks and she was going to send me questions she still hasn't done that so i'm not trying to put it off or anything like that because i really want to make this video for you guys um and what have you and i put it on youtube so that you guys can like get a little more insight on, on what anxiety is and how people deal with them, deal with it. <clears throat> so what anxiety is, is um, it's a mental, I don't know, let me look it up. Because whatever I say, I'm going to get it wrong, I know that. Um, so let me look it up. I know there's a lot of forms of anxiety. I fall into the category of undiagnosed generalized anxiety disorder and uh, panic disorder because I panic a lot and a little bit of OCD. Just a little bit of it. So as you can see on your screen that I looked up what anxiety is. And it's intensive, ex ex uh, excessive, and persistent worry and fear about everyday situations um, and, you know, common causes. You can even look up seeking medical care.
and basically, you know, everything that has to do, to do with anxiety, anxiety disorder. Um, here are the many disorders. So first of all, it's anxiety disorder. Well, the first one on the list is anxiety disorder, which is anxiety, lack of concentration, excessive worry, generalized anxiety. I mean, crap. Disorder is severe ongoing anxiety that interferes with daily activities. Anxiety, emotional distress, extreme worry, and I worry a lot. Social anxiety disorder. Oh, I have this one too. A chronic mental health condition in which social interactions cause irrational anxiety. Do well. Mm -hmm. Hi. Separation anxiety. No. I don't have that, but, well, I, I do, because I have that. <laughs> um, and my mom has a lot of this one, which is, <clears throat> which is obsessive compulsive disorder, which is excessive thoughts, obsessions that lead to repetitive behavior compulsions. Symptoms may include Anxiety, ritualistic behavior, compo compulsive hoarding. So, with that, um, um, and you know, the video is gonna stop like now. The screen record is gonna stop now. Um. And, and, um, um, for me personally, um, I have, uh, anxiety, um, and it's very common with the, with the disease or affliction or disability that I have, um, very common. Um, cerebral palsy is actually, um, has to do with the cerebral cortex and certain nerve endings in the brain, um, not working properly. I mean, they work, but I I mean, they work, but you know, sometimes they don't work. Um, so what anxiety is for me is, um, it's really hard sometimes, uh, and, um, you know, some, sometimes I'm really just not myself. And anybody that knows me uh, personally um, knows that I'm a very happy person. But usually when I'm about to have a meltdown, panic attack, anxiety attack, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm very depressed for like a month or so before it happens. And when it happens, when, um, you know, I can't breathe. Um, I, you know, I kind of black out. I'm outside. Of, I'm outside of my own body, um, which I know sounds scary. I mean, it is. It is very scary. Um, but what happens with me usually? It's usually with like personal issues, personal like emotional issues, like the fact that I couldn't. You know have a normal or an average 
childhood where people would uh, play on the playgrounds, you know, do everything they, you know, do, run. Which, you know, I'm not saying I couldn't do that, but, um, but, you know, I couldn't really do that when I was a kid, and that's like the whole point of childhood is doing like all that stuff. But because I couldn't do all that stuff, um, my mom was like, um, "Why not take her to concerts?" And I love I love music. I've always loved music since I was a baby. So. Um, you know, I said that was fine. Or I thought that, that was fine. And, you know, it is. It's perfectly fine because I love music. You know, I don't really care about the artist. I just love music and all that. Um, I'm playing my hair because I'm bored and I have nothing better to do. So. And that's like one of my anxiety things is, is I gotta start like playing or fiddling with my with whatever's around me because I'm upset about something or what have you. I, I'm to per prevent myself from usually having a mental breakdown. Sometimes I usually eat my 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 thoughts and eat my pain away. Um, and I do something else but that's uh, another story and I'm I'm kind of like 13 year old kids on this channel so I'm like no I'm not doing that um and uh you know it's it's really hard um you know seeing all your friends from school um you know drive I'm not saying anxiety is the cause of me not driving. Other health issues is the cause of me not driving, um, as well as anxiety, because it is so bad. Um, and uh, it 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 got really hard, you know. A lot of a lot of the time, you know, I'm. I'm your average girl, except I'm in a welter, which kind of pisses me off, but, you know, it's all good. Um, you know, it's not really all good, but it's, you know, it's doable. 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 Yeah, there we are. Um, and a lot of the time, um, my friends and classmates, didn't really see the wheelchair as the barrier from our friendships. But as I got older and as we grew up and we got older, um, people started to bully me, um, tease me um, for a lot of the stuff I liked. Um, I thought that was a bird. It was just a fan um, inside my brother-in-law's in my sister's room. So, um, so, they didn't really notice, well, they didn't really care that the wheelchair was, was being out of the problem, the problem that was there. They'd always used to just make things work, things work to where I could be also involved with my classmates and then my friends. Um, but as we got older, my friends now became the the jerks, the 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 people with their heads in their butts, and and the, and the really big jerks okay um and you know it, it it was really a tough uh time for me because you know i didn't really change you know i i i just stayed who i was who i am 
and I stayed true to myself. I didn't change for anybody. Um, but um, they started calling me names, um, like retard, and you know, spaz, and and idiot, and and wait, is that an asshole? Cause you're it, you know. Um, why do you like kids shows? You know, they they'd always make fun of me, um, because I. I did like, um, um, you know, Disney, you know, Disney's awesome, and I, you know, I get that little kiddish to say, um, but it, 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 um, it used to make really good content, um, they used to make really good content, and, um, and then I got to high school, oh, by the way, this one, in middle school, this is where it all happened in middle school. This one girl, we used to be good friends, um, told everybody about something that she had going on. It was her secret, you know, to tell. And she was okay with it. And then, and then her secret got around. And then she said, Trisha told everybody my secret. And to be honest with you, I did not. I did not. I swear to God. And that's when all of our mutual friends turned on me. They didn't believe me. And I was telling the truth. They believed her. And she made my eighth grade year a living hell, a living hell. And freshman year, a lot of those friends um, you know, I got I got a lot of support on back from my, our friends and, and my friends and then I started to have the, my group of friends again and then you know it was good I went it was good I went to homecoming um I went to you know whatever happened like you know whatever I wanted but um 10th grade is where it all started again. Now, I let, now, I know I talk about these guys or this group a lot on my channel, but they're a big part of why, um, you know, they're a big part of why I didn't, you know, feel sad every day. So, the group I'm talking about, which I'm sure a lot of you know the name already, but whatever. Um, I've liked R5 and Driver Era now. They call themselves the Driver Era, which is, which is awesome. It's cool. Um, um, I started liking them in 2000. 10, um, 2009, let's say 2009, so since like the very beginning, plus 2000, plus 2012, which I know is complicated, but it's where I joined, you know, the online fandom, but like I've been a fan of them since like 2010, 2009, that area, that era, um, and all that stuff. And I actually went to see them for the first time in 2014. So, yay. Uh, and that's where 
the flu, the slew of concerts I went to for them skyrocketed. Um, because of that. And, uh, and, you know, they helped me uh, realize that, you know, I, the, I, that I wasn't alone, that you, you could do, you could do anything, you just gotta work hard for it, and I, and I do, because I love music, and I really want to do something that's helping, that's helping people heal emotionally, and music does do that for a lot of people, and I love music, and I've you know, been doing it since I was like three years old, so. Yeah, and, uh, you know, they've helped me a lot. So, uh, so the 10th grade is where I got really bad. And I mean really, really bad. Um, The first day of 10th grade was good, all right. But then we get into the midst, midst of September and the fall and all that. And this guy, and this, this, these group of guys, I'm not gonna say their names, but these group of guys, he, well they didn't hate me, but they, made fun of me a lot. They they teased me, they called me stupid, they called me retarded, they called me a bitch, they called me a lot of stuff I couldn't say out loud because it hurt. And they made fun of me, fun of the sport I play, which mind you, it's a Paralympic sport and you know it's ice hockey. But for people with like missing limbs, for like veterans that came back from war, that's where it started. And it's called sledge hockey. Well, the Canadian version is called sledge hockey, but the American version is shortened to sledge hockey. But I like to use the Canadian way. Um, and it was really hard because because I I had snacks in my bag because I can't eat during certain times of the day. If I don't wake up early enough, I can't eat during like 6 a.m. I can't do that because of like stomach acid and stomach issues a lot of times. So I, I used to always eat in like first period which started around Eight or nine o'clock, probably, probably seven. Yeah, seven. Because I've been up for an hour and it's, it's time for my stomach to go. But anyway, I used to eat during certain periods of the day. And this one guy started to make fun of the way I chew my food. Boys, stop it. And it was just really bad. <laughs> um, so they make they made fun of me all the time. No, it's fine. But I've also had this problem, anxiety, um, depression, you know, panic, whatever you want to call it, meltdown, it's since I was like four, and you know, it just amplified when we got to high school, amplified because people stopped talking to me, 
people stop asking me to do things. I I wasn't even invited to parties because my mom or my parent had to drive me and either stay with me or drop me off. A lot of the, the times they stayed with me because they didn't trust me, which I don't know why, but they didn't trust me. So I've had this problem since I was like four years old. And you know, it sucks. It really sucks. But, you know, when when I do have a meltdown, anxiety attack, panic attack, whatever you want to call it, because I know whatever I call it, my mom's probably going to see this video and be like, you don't have any of that. Why? Um, but I do, and uh, she's actually been taking me to see a psychologist to kind of medicate it, kind of control it a little bit, find techniques to control what I feel. So that's good. Um, this video is going to be long. Um, I know that. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not... I'm not saying that it's not any better, but it's always going to be there, and it sucks. It just sucks. And to be honest with you, I love my life, but a lot of, a lot of the times, I don't love my life. I don't love the current situation. I'm in with my parents spending up. I don't love it. I'm not. I'm not perfect. Neither is my life. Do I take my life granted? Probably. Do I want the life I'm given? Probably not. If I had a choice, probably not. But I was given the, ch the choice of living. So, living instead, instead of dying. Do I think of, do I think that if I had died, things would have been easier? Or if I did harm myself, things would have gotten better? Probably, yes. Yes, I have, but do I regret the life that I'm given? No. No, I do. And so that is my video. And I got edited. Alrighty. 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 Bye, guys.